They call it a free world, well I found out that it's all lies You think that you a free man, until more guns shut in your life What is up everybody, it's your boy Papa Kubina Viral Welcome back to Papa's Kitchen We are here for episode 1 of Chef Papa Season 2 Where we have special guest featured when we cook our first special guest all the way from Rockford down to Madison. We got none, no other but the case. If not, you can never run it with me. Can you let the people know a little about yourself real quick before we jump into what we're gonna do today? My name is KC. Um, I love to cook because it's another creative outlet for me. I'm a very creative kid with curse. Yes. Well, family first. So maybe so not. So no curse. Alright, so I'm very creative and yeah. Awesome. Cool. Hey, just quick, short, straight to the point. That's what we do over here. Um, welcome back to uh, Chef Papa. We're in the kitchen. Um, we're going to be doing a nice collaboration dish here today. Um, she's going to make something, I'm going to make something, and at the end we're going to give you guys and show you guys the product. Um, I'm going to let her explain what she's going to make, and I'm going to explain what I'm going to make. Um, again, for season two, the main goal is health and wellness, uh, <laughs> providing the right recipes, um, and teaching you guys about these recipes so that you can enjoy and build a more healthier habit for a healthier lifestyle, right? Um, so we're going to be having many different guests with many different recipes, different col col collaborations, collabs, and we're going to have fun, right? Uh, cooking is just a great way, like she said, it's a great outlet for us to not only um, get closer to our foods, but also find ways to um, keep our bodies healthy. Right. So we're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to let her explain what she's going to uh, make on her end. And I'll jump into my... So let me pass the mic. There you go. Hey. Pass. <laughs> um, so what I brought to make, and I brought some... Did I just show them? Yeah, go for it. Okay, well... <gasps> it's in some juice right now. Okay, so um, I brought some chickpeas. AKA garbanzo beans. These are popular in um, like Indian dishes. Um, it's another bean, so it's very protein, you know, based. Uh, I brought an avocado just because I, I feel like I can put an avocado on anything. Avocados so is life. Put that on top. Yes, ma'am. Um, I brought some red curry paste. Hey. So I love Thai food. I lived in Thailand for a year and a half. So. Yeah. I found this in the store, and it's, this is actually a vegan red curry Thai paste. And usually they're not vegan because it's usually based with like a fish, fish sauce. sauce. But this one's vegan, okay? Because I'm vegan, if you ain't know. If you're vegan, you ain't gang. The more um, you know, reading rainbow. And then we got some vegetables, so we're going to chop that up. Chop it up. Mix it together. Also, he has some coconut milk. I'm going to get that. Um... I think these might be the same brand too. Yeah, right there. They are the same brand. So Thai coconut milk. Sponsor us. To put in the curry. And so Sponsor what, us. What I normally do is I try to make like a chana masala dish, but sometimes I just put whatever I want in it. So it's chana masala is like a chickpea curry type of dish from India. Nice. So she's gonna be making uh, Thai chickpea curry. Yeah. 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 That's what we gotta um, go. We got with. the garza, garbanzo beans. We got some peppers. We got some onions. We got some tomatoes. On my end, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna make some rice and salmon. You know, I'm gonna make some salmon. I'm gonna season it uh, a little differently than I, I do before. Um, but you see the process. I, I won't break down the specific ingredients that until we get to that point but I'm just making rice and salmon to go with her curry so it's going to be fire okay so without further ado I let's a spice <laughs> it might get a little spicy here all right so first thing
thing. You got to wash your rice. As always, okay? So you know already I'm washing my rice. Now I let it sit for a little bit. And it's safe. Now we're just gonna pour that out. I think our veggies are already done washing, right? Yes. The veggies are done washing. We uh we wash our veggies with water and baking soda. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Whip it through the Sir, we're gonna get through this, baby. We're gonna get through We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. So, we washed the veggies in one half. We washed our rice. I washed the salmon as well, too. Um, we're gonna just jump straight into it and get ready. So, we're gonna start chopping up. She's gonna start chopping up that. I'm gonna finish washing this rice. She needs some utensils to get that ready. So, I'm gonna give her that. And she's gonna chop it up. So, yeah, let's jump into it. Um, Let's uh let's let's talk about um, Oh this is like a mukbang? A little bit. Um let's talk about your trip in Thailand because you mentioned you were out there for a year, was it? A year and a half. Yeah, a year you know, and a half. I my thing out there in that thug fizzle. In that thug fizzle. Okay. You know? And how was that? How was that experience of the day? What was what what was your favorite moments or experiences out there and what was your least favorite uh, most favorite experience out there? I would say my least favorite was going Starting with the least first. Me going with the least, okay. Um, my experience at the police station. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Because you know... Because you street... <laughs> You know I be doing my thing out here. Oh, oh, I'm funny. so dead. But um, why I would did. you in the police station? Why you get So I I rode a motorbike like I like I had a motorbike. I was renting mm -hmm. sixty USD per month. Rent a motorbike. That's how I usually go for okay, foreigners. Okay. Um, and so, so that's a good price. That's not good. Yeah, and so I was on my way to the club. Of course, I'm for real though. As for you real. should, as you should. I was on my way to the club. How was the clubs out there, by the way, compared to here? Um, I didn't really club here. Oh, really? I didn't, I, the reason I started clubbing in Thailand was because I was, I worked full time. Like I worked a forty hour week. Shift, week shift. Yeah, so and I was a teacher. Too. So I was teaching kindergarten. And so, at the end of the week, I needed to go clubbing <laughs> every weekend. I'm dead. Hey. Because I needed to get. But I don't drink though. That's the crazy part. I don't drink. So. so you just but like, I literally go to the club and like just like dance. That's like go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. So I don't really know. I've been to a couple Chicago clubs, but like I didn't really do a lot of clubbing in Chicago. So, but there. People lit. Like I'm not gonna lie. One time I was at the club and this girl came up to me and this was this is just that common conversation I guess, but she came up to me and she was like, Do you know where I can get some cocaine? <laughs> like, baby. Hey kids, don't do drugs. Baby, just illegal. Hold on, hold on, don't do that. So yeah, no. I was I told her no, because that was the facts. <laughs> I, will, I hope um, you would say that. But yeah, so I was on my way to a club from the other club, like two clubs in town or whatever. So I was on my way to the next club, but I had I, I was upset, you know. So I'm riding my motorbike, I'm upset, you know. Somebody had pressed a button in the club, so I was like, if I see them at this next club, I'm gonna, gonna go die. off. It's gonna die. I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> but okay. But I knew, uh, so, so on the way to the club, I, I hit a car. Oh, dang. I T-boned a car. On my motorbike, I wasn't wearing a helmet, nothing. So, um, had I been like two, two, three seconds earlier, I would have died. Jeez. Like, That's scary. Like dead. Like you had dead. a life or like death, death experience moment. So, but okay. But when, when it happened then, out of nowhere, it's like the streets was dark, ain't nobody was around. My friend was following me on her motorbike, but out of nowhere, these random people just 
came like came over to us and was like like holding me hostage. <laughs> like they were making sure what? I didn't leave the scene. Cause I probably would have tried to do this. <laughs> but yeah, they were like acting like they were trying to help, so Did yep. they help you? Uh, they were basically kind of holding me hostage to make sure um, that the cops came and took care of this. So, but the, the so the worst experience part about it was like when the cop like I feel safer around their police than I do our police. So, that should tell you something. But the bad part is I don't know their language fluently, if not at all, you know, at all, damn near. So. Um, I don't know what the heck they're saying to me during this experience, and all I know is, you know, I might have to pay for this, but I didn't know how much, I didn't know this, I didn't know that. So the cops was like pretty much, I was kind of being a little resistant because I didn't want to get played out here in right. the streets. <laughs> Literally though. You know, so I didn't want to get played, but um, long story short, I was in a police station, I didn't know what they were saying because they speak Thai, so I was just trying to, uh, hold off on whatever they was trying to do and it got to the point where the police officer I was like you know English can you give me a translator translator English I know you know that I don't speak Thai right. um and he just started yelling at me in Thai and I just started crying because oh. it was like it was like two hours late I started crying so I'm like I just want to go home oh, damn. and then you and then they let me go home and then I came back in the morning Damn. But don't drive me mad. I, I knew like the lesson in that because I felt the energy in my body and I, I, I shouldn't have like been charged up like that. Hey, you live and you learn. Yeah, and you know, spirit was just like, nah, I'm bad. Let me come here. You ain't gonna do that. But um, that's the, the worst. That's the worst. I would say best performing and um. Performing in the uh, festivals. Oh, okay. I did like three different festivals. Um, one was like a music festival, one was like a hippie. Well, they're all hippie festivals, I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, okay. One was more hippie though, like it was literally like a 10 day, actually I didn't perform there, but it was a 10 day festival in the mountains of Thailand. Mm -hmm. And people stay there for 10 days and like camp and stuff. But yeah, I gotta. But I also got to like travel the other surrounding countries, right? And what I would do is I would find the crump communities in those countries, and I I would go session with crumpers. Oh, so if you didn't know, she's a boxer, okay? She gets book out you. Um, but thank you, thank you for sharing that. Let's uh, I got more questions. But we're gonna keep this going real quick. I'm about to get ready to make the rice. I already put my oil in here. Um, yeah, I did. Um, I got my oven on. Uh, so turn your oven on first, and then get a pot. Put your oil in your pot, and then you're gonna sprinkle some onions in this like this. And I'm sprinkling that onion right there, right? Not too much. I mean, you know, do as much as you please. Right here, but. The most effective way to put onions, if you didn't know, you know the best way to um, apply onions in your food? Do you know? No. Do you want me to demonstrate for you? Yes. Do you need to have the lesson on how to yes, actually sir. apply onions? Yes, All right, so here's the way to do it, okay? You first gotta put it in your hand, and you gotta go up here, and you gotta hit it with your arm, and it come back in. Do the name it a little bit. I can't stand Bring it back right up now. so that you can get the right trajectory to go <laughs> like that. But that didn't even. Okay. But it fell in though. So that's the best way of putting onions into your pot. The more you know. You hit the nail. Reading rainbow. I did. And, and you, you almost hit the nail on my face. Did I hit your face? No. No, you didn't. Exactly. So you're okay. You're fine. Then. You put your rice. I have about four and a half cups of rice in here. I use jasmine rice. Make sure to wash your rice first. Why? Thank you for asking. We've covered this in other episodes, but for our new 
followers and viewers for the street. For the street. <laughs> we wash our produce and food because things are processed here in America. A majority of things that we eat are processed. So the best way to make sure that you're getting clean um, uh, ingredients and food is to wash them. So like rice is processed a lot. Veggies, depending on where you're getting them, they can be processed based upon where you're getting them. Um, and on. So make sure you wash your produce, your salmon, fish, all that stuff, your veggies, your fruits. Wash it so that you can clean it and make sure that it doesn't have any of the gunk or any pesticides or any other things that could be on it based upon where you get it from. So this is why it's important to do research on where you get food. So, Buy local. Yes, because most of the time local knows what they're doing. Not, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. They're better because just support your local people, okay? Um, support them because they're in your own city, they're small businesses, and they're not going to rip you off. Corporations will, and they'll give you things that's not good for you. So, I just put my rice in there. Mix it up a little bit. We're gonna add uh, so the cup, uh, the cup to uh, the water to rice ratio is one to one. Um, so because I put four and a half cups of rice, <laughs> I'm putting four and a half cups of water. But here's a pro tip: you can use your pinky to measure if you have enough water in your rice. So I'm beginning to do this. As you can see, learning. You're learning today, right? Then, <laughs> not yesterday. Not yesterday, but today, right now. Mix it up a little bit just to see what the ratio is. You should have a little bit more, you should have more water than rice. Now, to test it, you use your pinky. Now, this mark right here on your pinky, if the water goes up to that mark, you have enough water. It didn't, so I need to add more water. Then you stir it up again. See if you have enough water. Still not enough water. So we just gotta keep going, you know? He hollering in my ear, Am I screaming? You are. Okay, let me come. Back. Now I have enough water. Come. Oh my gosh. You did, you did me so dirty today, so. And then I'm using some salt. Uh, shout out to my roommate for buying Ibanai salt. Yeah, this is really good for you. Is it? Yes, yeah, actually better than sea salt and Himalayan salt. Who this is news to me? I what know it was it? very news to me too. I do research. Um, I think the reason why um, it really depends on again, it really depends on where you get your products. Um, some can be grown in the farm or um, how they're harvested and whatnot. Um, or how they're extracted and whatnot too, so it's very important to make sure you know where you get yourself from. I'll I'll drop the resource information of where and I learned about why I my salt is better for you than sea salt. Um, so we put that there. And I gotta cut up some butter to add to my rice. You know what I'm saying? Um next question. What would you say, if you were to give people five things, I know it's a lot, if you were to give people five things they could do to help better their health in general. Now you don't have to go into full details about a lot, everything, but like, if you were to give them like some basic advice or why not right now, apart from cooking, or like healthy food, what would you give the people? What, what is something that is important for you or you think for others that they may not be doing on a basis or just in general that could definitely make an impact in, on their lives in that healthy way? Right on the spot. I would say drink more clean water. Yes. That's the cleanest water you can find. Mm -hmm. um, Eat more fruits and vegetables, mm. like significantly more, like less. So more fruits and vegetables, less 
less like processed food, more clean water, um, no soda. Right. Drink less soda. Not even just soda, but high fructose corn syrup. The more you know, reading rainbow. Um, and move, movement, like move your body because that helps your yeah. body. It helps to like lymphatic system work properly. So facts, do those things, and you should see improvement. There's so much more, so much deeper, and it's so much more personalized. But those things are like you can't go wrong. Um, cool. We're doing good so far. We're about to what did you get the uh, this guy going soon right now? Yeah. Perfect. What is uh, ginger and garlic? With the fish. Um, so I just washed my rice, my rice, my salmon. I let it soak in water. So now I'm gonna season it soon. I'm just gonna place it there first for now, and then we'll get that popping. But let's get the curry going first, yeah. Wash your hands <laughs> when you cook it. <laughs> don't just touch something and don't wash your hands. And if you want to save time in the kitchen. Try and wash yourself while you're, when you have time. <laughs> when you're here. Yeah. When you, you know, you're not really cooking. Yeah, cool, cool. We're doing good time. Rice is... Is that for this? Yes. This one? Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to get actually put the oven on first. I'm going to be baking the salmon. Um, so you can begin right now by preheating it. I started at 425. I'm going to preheat it for about 10 15 minutes. And then we'll get our salmon broth. Can I actually use some of these for Yeah. Let's save some of this for Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and put. I have to preheat. You got to do whatever you But I'm going to go ahead and just put the. Veggies in the pan. I personally don't use like butter. More so, I would use oils, but I don't. We don't have any oils. I have veggie oil. Um. Yeah. I'm not Normally, I use that. olive oil, but I don't have olive oil right now. So I'm gonna just put it in there, right, and get to simmering. All right. That's what we do. So we use it all, or yeah. Yeah, just put it all in there. You know what I'm saying? That's what, I That's what we get for. I'm so excited. Is yeah, that so what we're here for? I guess we're just here to put it in. Bruh. Just, um, okay. <laughs> it is what it is. So we laughing today? Yes, ma'am. That's the question. That's exactly what we're doing tonight. So, hey, if you didn't know, um, apart from cooking, we're creative artists, we're dancers, we're entrepreneurs as well, too. Um, our goals are to help others heal, as well as seek healing. Um, the Hitters Collective, that's our goal. Um, we're a collective of healers that seek healing and to help others heal through our coordinated events, through our skill tree programs, um, and education programs, and our creative art services. Um, so that's what we're all about. We do more than just cooking. Um, make sure you find and have different hobbies. <laughs> don't just be one plane. Um, don't be one dimension. Uh, 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 diversify yourself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, she just put the, are we, what seasoning are you using for the curry? Um, we'll see what you got. But normally, this is actually very, very, very flavorful. Um, and it has red chili, pepper, garlic, lemongrass, salt, shallot, coriander, and kefir lime peel. So, there's a lot of flavor in this already. I mean, well, let's bring out the spice rack. Figure out what I'm gonna use. I'm using dill weed for the salmon. I'm gonna use some thyme. Actually, no, I'm gonna put the thyme away. We're gonna use some oregano. We're gonna use some sage. We're gonna use some red pepper. And this is a savory, um, 
I don't know what this is. It just says savory. I don't know what it's a mix of. But it's savory. I don't know. Um, and first I'm going to use some black peppers. I have my black pepper in here. And then I'm going to top off with some garlic and ginger. So let me cut these real quick. So what uh, what she used uh, for her ingredients were um, just one can of uh, garbanzo beans, um, three green onions, um, and then one white onion, and then one green uh, bell pepper. Yeah. Right. And then uh, coconut milk. I believe she just poured a little bit in there, uh, nothing too crazy, and then she's gonna add the paste. Alrighty, while she does that, I am going to season our salmon. So for what I'm going to use for our salmon, like... Our oven should be preheated as well. So we're gonna check that in a few. Um, last thing we're gonna add here, and I forgot to do this earlier. We're gonna cut up half a lime. Now I would do lemon this time. As much as I wanna do lemon. I just have more lime than lemon, so let's not do that. Um, we're gonna cut half a lime. Oh, that smells good already. I know, ain't it? Dang. I wish you guys were in this kitchen right now. Um, the rice looks like it's time to flip. Uh, when most of the water has been soaked up, that's when you know that the rice is ready for flipping. And we're flipping it from the bottom to the top. So um, I pretty much finished mixing everything in. Um, so we had the veggies, the curry paste, some coconut milk. Um, Mix it all in, put the coconut milk in with the veggies and stuff first, then the curry paste, and now I'm just letting it simmer on low until everything else is ready to go. Okay! Okay! Alright. So the pressure is on, Coco. See, I'm almost done. Okay. I'm almost done. I almost just butchered yeah, your nails. You really almost butchered it and said the wrong thing. And you would have probably died. Papa like, go be. Thank you. Say it again. What is it? I was. I don't know what I was. I was gonna say Coco Cabina. I don't. Coco Cabina. You must still be thinking know. about cocaine from oh your trip. God. Are you still thinking about cocaine from your trip? Papa That's Cobino. wild. The pressure's on you. Don't do man. drugs, guys. I didn't do any tonight. <laughs> I normally don't. <laughs> Wait, so she said tonight. I mean, you know, I was just searching for the words in the moment, but oh. I, yes, don't do those things. Don't do that, okay. All right, so it's time to put the salmon in the oven. Um, I'm gonna bake it for 20 minutes first, and then we're gonna boil it for 10, 15 minutes. Yeah? So let's get that started. Rice is about done already. <laughs> And yeah, you see, when you clean while you're cooking, look at how much, oh shit, I forgot something. You see how much less you have to clean afterwards? But I forgot something, I gotta grab. You good there? <laughs> yes, I'm good. All right, so I forgot to add some butter to this. So this is a Virgo and a Scorpio. You know, you know how you say, um, when, if you've seen those memes that are like, um, cook with your partner, we're right. not partners, no, <laughs> but I'm saying, 
They say, oh, cook with your partner for a romantic date. Right. But if you actually really cook, like, that's not romantic. I just want you to fuck out of my space. Oops, family first. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not saying this hasn't been bad. Like this ah. spatially has been good, but like if you've ever cooked with like your significant other or something, like it's really just like get out of my way. Like let me do my damn thing. I know what that. I know how that feels. I know how that goes. But it is what it is. I'm just cutting some butter strips. <laughs> I'm just cutting some butter. You know. I'm just gonna put it on there. And now I'm gonna put it back. I'm so sorry. Sorry, y'all. If you see me making faces, I'm harassing the, the two audience members <laughs> with my facials. With my facials. Cool. Well, um, we got everything cooking now. It's just a matter of the finished product. We will see you guys in a couple minutes. Yeah, we're gonna let the salmon cook, we're gonna let the curry finish cooking, and then we're gonna let the rice finish cooking, and then we'll see you guys in a few. In a few? Okay! okay. Alright! Have a nice time! What's up, yo? We're back! <laughs> we're back! Um, <laughs> we're about to show y'all what we just made. Uh, as you can see, we got 15 seconds, 10, wait, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and our salmon is ready. <laughs> our food is ready. Eleven, eleven, make a wish. Eleven, eleven, make a wish. I wish this food blesses our soul, our mind, and our heart and our spirit, and may it bring us health, wellness, and prosperity, and more love. Ashe. Ashe. Anybody want to add? Ashe. Can we hear y'all in the background? Can we all hear in the? Ashe. Y'all supposed to bless the hands that made the food. You know. So. You know you. <laughs> you are tripping right now. <laughs> I'm dying. So we're done cooking. Rice is done. The curry's done. Salmon's done. Our plates are ready. We cut up some avocados. Can we just? Take a moment, real quick. Look how perfect this was. Look at this. Look at it. Just Papa Avo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, here's a fun fact. Um, avocados can make your butt bigger. Ooh. <laughs> An avocado is a caterpillar. Oh, welcome back to Chef Papa Cubino and friends. <laughs> Avocados. This is a good source of healthy fat. Yes. You know, when people be like, oh, I'm trying to avoid fats. Well, this is a healthy fat. It's a good fat. It's a it's a fruit. And uh, The more you know. I actually did not know that. Yeah, that was a it's raw. So, like, it's really good, actually. And I put it on just love. Everything. Literally. Except Siri. Jinx, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. <laughs> you owe me something. I'll think about it when I feel like it. But yes. But um, yeah. So you know what that means. Yeah, we're gonna. If you're vegan, join the gang. If you're not, join the gang. Source of fat, healthy fat. Yes, fat. All right, so our food is done. Um, not just for vegan too. Can you actually put the people a closer look? Show them what we just made. Oh, she wasn't trying to be. You know, so we got our curry. It's all done. You know what I'm saying? And we got our rice. Fire. And then our salmon. Ooh, it looks like it's burning. But I like it crispy. Yeah. I made it extra crispy. So that's our food. Um. And that concludes our episode season one, season two. Season two, episode one, with our first special guest, Chef Casey, Chef Mama, Chef Street, Chef Crime.
because when we in the kitchen, it looks like a crime scene because we have too much fire in the kitchen. I don't know. I, I was going to take that somewhere, but it didn't come out the way. What, what was it that we said? You said something. You said something about kitchen. I cook. The way she cooks is a crime. So take caution. Oh! Why I cook is a crime, so take caution, okay? Real talk. So thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to jump in and enjoy our food. Hope you guys enjoy your food. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And definitely do the June bug when you're Doing. You a minute late. I was late. Yeah. I missed that. All right. Thanks for having me, y'all. Yes. Peace. Listen. I say how we got. I say. Okay.